So all of you have heard that Rob Parker's favorite player, Tom Brady, has retired from football. <laughs> and Rob has a special tribute <laughs> for Tom Brady. What's up, man? What's up, Mr. Chris Broussard? How are you? I'm good. You've been smiling all day. I my, need baby oil. Guess. What? I needed two <laughs> things of baby oil and three hands this morning. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers you know, had some beautiful balls. we stop it balls? right there? My goodness. <laughs> all right, but um, yes, you will get to say all you want. Get it all off your chest about Tom Brady, and uh, that's coming up in a few moments. We got DJ Alex Tyshirt in the house on the ones and twos. Super producer Rob G on the production and... You heard him, the loquacious hey. Brian Finley with the updates. All right, Rob, let's get to it. Tom Brady says he's done. Well, at first, let's hear it. Alex, hit it. Good morning, guys. I'll get to the point right away. I'm retiring for good. I know the process was a pretty big deal last time, so when I woke up this morning, I figured I'd just press record and let you guys know first. So uh, I won't be long-winded. Like you only get one super... Emotional retirement essay, and I used mine up last year. So, uh, really, thank you guys so much to every single one of you for supporting me. My family, my friends, my teammates, my competitors. Uh, I could go on forever. There's too many. Thank you guys for allowing me to live my absolute dream. I wouldn't change a thing. Love you all. I love you all. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Too bad you botched your retirement and you botched the way you went out of the game. Tom Brady had a real chance to leave on top when he won that championship against the Chiefs. That was the best time for Tom Brady to leave, but he didn't do it that way. Came back, wound up losing to Matthew Stafford, and then this year being embarrassed by the Dallas Cowboys. And now with his tail tucked between his legs and the game we remember of him losing to the Cowboys for the very first time. That's the Tom Brady who now slinks out of the NFL instead of walking out with his finger raised high and being like on top of the world at that moment. It was there, but his ego got in the way, and a lot of times athletes just can't leave when it's time to leave, and they stick around just a little bit too long, just long enough to get knocked out. Just long enough to have the ball go between your legs. Just long enough for you to lose and be embarrassed in a postseason game. And, and uh, that was Tom Brady. But, Chris, I have bigger fish to fry when it comes to Tom Brady. And there's two things. When we talk about his glowing career and Tom Brady had a great career, let's make sure we include everything. Include the cheating scandals from the Patriots. Include how he was suspended by the NFL for uh, deflate gate and doctoring footballs. Make sure you do what you do to Barry Bonds and to Roger Clemens and their tainted careers. Make sure that when you're reciting the good stuff that Tom Brady did, and we know he's won seven championships and all the other records and he played 23 years, that's all good and well. No one's saying to poo-poo it or discount it. But make sure you include the other stuff that was in the mix because we do it for everybody else, and he shouldn't get a pass. And you know what, Chris? He shouldn't get a pass because ultimately he did cheat. His team cheated and Tom Brady cheated. And if I was a voter for the Pro Football Hall of Fame, I would not vote Tom Brady into the Hall of Fame. What? I would not N-O-T because of the steps and the things that he did to get a competitive advantage over other people. And what people always kill me with this is, oh, it ain't the same thing. It's just airing the ball. Or he didn't do it. Belichick did it. Well, Well, getting teams defensive signals would help the quarterback, wouldn't it? And here's my other point. Go talk to those other players who probably got cheated out of Super Bowls. Go talk to the Rams and talk to those guys who thought they should have won another Super Bowl and instead it went to Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. That's what cheating is. Stop it. 
whether you steal $5 out of your grandmother's purse or you steal a million dollars from the bank. You're a thief. Tom Brady did cheat. Why can't we acknowledge it? Teflon Tom. All we ever do, everything's great. Tom's a great, oh, he's a go. He's a, uh, Tom. He marred, he tainted his career being a part of that. Yes. We're not going to let Tom Brady skate and act like nothing else happened other than sunshine and lollipops and championships. That's not what his career is totally about. And I know the pro football writers won't do it, but if you're going to hold the the athletes to a high standard like they do in baseball and Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens, to name a few, then do the damn same thing to Tom Brady. Rob Parker, I know you think you said something, but stop it! I think that applause was for me. No, that's for me. Because you are off of your rocker if you think that Tom Brady shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. My goodness! I guess it's a nice try because you wrote him off back in 2012 and uh, that that didn't prove to go so well. (laughs) <laughs> Rob, stop it. Now, n- nobody's saying he didn't cheat. We all know he cheated. Call him a cheater, you, Chris. You, I want to hear it out of your mouth. It. Call him a cheater. He's a cheater. Okay. He cheated. But do I think that that should ruin his career? Do I think that that is the equivalent? Having balls deflated is the equivalent of freaking performance-enhancing drugs? Will you stop it? That is ludicrous. You brought up $5. If you steal $5 uh, from your grandma's purse and and, and a million dollars, it's the same thing. It is not. Yes, both are stealing, and we're admitting he cheated, but both don't get the same penalty. Steal a million dollars from someone or someplace, you're going to jail. Steal $5, not so much. I mean, Rob, stop it. And I'm dead serious. Like, First of all, and, and this doesn't really, this is a factor, but it, it's, you know, it's ultimately I just think it's two different levels of wrongdoing. But you will acknowledge this too, Rob. The NFL is much different when it comes to treatment of PEDs than baseball. There are, there, I there mean, are plenty and, of players. Right. Paul, Paul Hornan. Hornig and uh, Alex Carroll, remember, they bet on football, NFL games. They're stars from the 60s, and they made, they're made they in the Hall of Fame. Uh, and it was known when they were voted in. And, you, I mean, Julius Peppers, Patrick Patterson, uh, these are all guys that were, uh, Antonio Gates, one of the best tight ends. They were all did suspensions for PED use. They will likely be Hall of Famers when they're eligible. So it, it, that's different. Baseball. I'm with you. I think Bonds and uh, Clemens should be in. But baseball has proven to treat PED use much harsher and than gambling. the NFL. We, you can argue about right. And gambling, too. You can argue about whether that's right or wrong. But what Brady did, Spygate, he probably knew. I mean, that's what the official uh, documents say. He, It's probable he knew, but nothing definitive. And then... The deflated balls, he served his four-game suspension. He came back without deflated balls and obviously played tremendously. So I I hear you, Rob. I get it. You want to acknowledge, look, he did do these things, and everybody would uh, should admit that he did them. But to think that that should taint his career, to think that that should keep him out of the Hall of Fame is just – I'll say this, Rob. You'll never be a football Hall of Fame voter, that's for sure. <laughs> with that and You know what? That's okay. And, and I'll be good with that. But I, I definitely, oh, I, I just look at uh, where we are and, and how Brady has seemingly, like when people talk about him, they, it's like it never happened. And here's my other different point between Bonds, Clemens, and Brady. Brady was actually busted by the league and suspended. Clemens and Bonds never Chris tested positive and never were suspended well, by admitted, Major League Baseball. Admitted it, but no. Um, but I'm that talking he about he never in the, the testing. Like he never got busted. Oh, right, right. That's all I'm saying. 
But you, do you, I mean, do you really equate? And even just because of that point, I still don't equate. I mean, it's just two different levels of wrongdoing. I mean, I deflating just, footballs is nowhere near as bad as using steroids or PEDs but that can not, lead you to really harm or maim one of your competitors, let alone what, get an advantage. What if you found out, and this is just a hypothetical off the top of my head, what if you found out some investigative reporter said that the Patriots and those and a couple of those Super Bowls, Chris, knew what was coming, had all their intel, all that stuff, and they were able to win, you know, and play great defense in some of these games because they knew what was coming. Would that change your mind at all? I'm just asking you, at all. Well, I mean, first of all, there is the, you know, I mean, that's essentially what happened with the Spygate, right? They, they, I mean, they certainly knew something, you know what I mean, that gave them an advantage, but that's just one of seven. So um, I, it wouldn't make me want to keep him out of the Hall of Fame. And again, it would also be how much did he know? You know, does he know that there – sounds like Watergate. I, I, I also how do think – How much did huh? he know and when did he know it? It sounds, so it I, sounds like Watergate. Oh, I also think, Rob, that to some degree – I guess I shouldn't say it. I was, I was going to say a, co- a real competitor wouldn't even want like that type of cheating advantage, you know. But but then again, we look at the Astros and baseball and, you know, all these other sports and, you know, maybe guys would want that type of advantage. But I, I still think we've even talked about a ride with baseball, how the Astros, you know, playing so well, right, after the scandal when we knew they weren't cheating or, you know, we have no evidence that they were cheating again, it kind of justified them. You know what I'm saying? We've, right, we've talked it, about that, that it kind of yeah. justifies them. And it why don't helped. you say the same thing about Brady? Because obviously he came back without the deflated balls and was fantastic. Right, but the only difference is the team that won this past year only had two or three of those Astros on the team. It wasn't the same exact team. No, but we've said, you but know, you know right, what I'm saying. We've right. said I know this what you're does saying, but make it wasn't you feel exactly, better about yeah. them winning it in the 2017. Astros, so. I will give you that, that they got a little bit of credibility that right. they did go ahead and win, but it wasn't the same exact team.